Hi you guys, I want to share another quick video on the HTC One X and the Apex Launcher. A few things I've found interesting uh, and useful to use, I'm just going to share with you. Firstly we'll open it and get to the uh, main home screen. As you can see I've got my screens fairly tidy, mainly folders and a few widgets that I find useful and I use most of the time. Uh, if we go back to the home screen. What i found with the Apex Launcher is lots of customization within the Apex Launcher. Uh, Multi-touch gestures for one are a really impressive way to do things rather than touch icons and navigate around your phone. On my phone I've got the uh, multi-touch gestures set up uh, as follows. If I double tap on my home screen or any screen it takes me straight into the Apex Launcher uh, settings so I can do Apex settings, manage apps, theme settings, wallpaper, lock the desktop etc etc. If I one finger swipe up on the screen, I've got it set to take me straight to my Chrome browser. So there's no need, use, no need to use a tab to get to your Chrome browser. One flick on the screen and you're in. Go back to the home screen. If I use a two finger gesture and swipe down, it takes me straight to my task manager. I can see what's running. I can delete apps, etc., etc. Uh, quickly, the main thing that's really interesting in Apex Launcher is the customization that you do get with Apex Launcher. Now, within the app market, there are lots of packages for icons. Uh, generally you'll see them for all different types of launchers, Go Launcher, lots of different types of launchers. I've found that when you download these icon packs, every pack is compatible with Apex Launcher. And I'll briefly show you what I mean in a minute. Uh, I'll just show you some brief customizations that I like to make. I mean this clock here is okay, I use it quite a bit, but say you want a different clock. It's just a pretty standard uh, way of changing widgets. But the clock I like to use is beautiful home clock. If you're going to change to Apex and you're used to using an HTC clock and weather widget, uh, beautiful home and beautiful weather widgets give a full array of clocks and widgets that replicate the HTC type clock thing. Uh, the one I prefer to use, beautiful home, if I go to this one, all the settings are set how I already want them, so I'll save and apply. For me, it's okay as it is, but it's too too much like HTC's clock and you can change all the skins, you can download all the free skins for clocks, 3D clocks etc etc. I like the basic layout of this, I like the font, I like the way it's laid out but I prefer to just do mine as, uh, as follows so I'll resize it. I'll stretch that down and that'll do it so I'll just click on that, we've gone to the weather so we'll go back and there we go. So it's fairly transparent, it's much bigger, it's much cleaner on the screen, big time, clock, weather, date, time, etc, etc. Now going on further from the thing I mentioned before about the different icon packs, if we quickly go into the app drawer, the icons are the standard Apex launcher icons, so, well, there's basically the standard Android items, icons rather, items, icons. So if you scroll through, you'll see that they're all the standard icons. If you go back to the main screen, and using the double tap on, the, on anywhere on the screen, it'll get me into my uh, Apex Manager. If I go to Theme Settings, you'll notice I've downloaded a few theme packs. The default one at the top is the Apex one. The other two are Go Launch, and there's another one at the bottom that's uh, Me UI uh, Launcher Pack. Each of these icon packs are quite good, but one that I find quite interesting is this blue music. Now, if I click on that one, straight away it gives you different options. It, it offers to change the icon pack, the skin, the font and the wallpaper. Well, I want to keep the wallpaper I've already got, so I'll uncheck the wallpaper and I'll apply. <coughs> Take a second to refresh the screens. Now you'll see that each of the folders have actually got blue surrounding uh, picture frames around each icon. If I open it up uh, quickly, you can see what I mean. The icons along the uh, taskbar at the bottom have changed. Uh, some icons totally change within the app pack, others stay the same, but they're all surrounded in this neon blue frame. If I go through to another few screens, uh, you'll see what I mean again with the icons. But if I go to the app drawer, it's more noticeable. Now what it's done in the app drawer, all the apps, the actual icon for the apps is slightly smaller, but they're all framed with this neon blue surrounded. Quite a clean, clean look and quite, uh, quite effective. But there's multiple, multiple icon packs that you can try and you can play around with on the... Uh, on the Play Market, uh, Play Store I should say. So go to the Play Store, check them out, have a play around and uh, see what suits you best. But for me at the moment, this the way I've got it set up, I've got the, something similar to the HTC clock, but it's not as, you know, not as pronounced as the HTC clock. So I've got my time, uh, I've got the weather if I want it, so I can click on the weather. Animated weather screen, uh, which is quite nice, gives you the real feel, the weather. Also these uh, weather icons down the bottom, if you click on the following day, it, it goes to AccuWeather's site and it should give you an update on the weather for that date. 
So there we are, a few more uh, ideas for Apex Launcher. I hope you found these ideas uh, interesting. Any questions, please ask and uh, comment below. Uh, subscribe and I'll uh, get more videos out uh, on the HTC One X.